What's up, you sick cinema-loving freaks, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host, as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a very weird-ass flick lined up for us. It is Luigi Cosi's 1989 just off-the-wall bizarre production. It is The Black Cat, and this one is totally bizarre and just completely strange. So let's get into the weirdness. Here is The Black Cat. The Black Cat is one of the most bizarre Italian horror films to ever come out of the 80s. With an insanely nonsensical plot, a slew of oddball performances, and a dreamlike quality that will drive you batshit crazy. Blindingly colorful and tremendously grotesque, this freakish production juggles a slew of ideas and manages to successfully tackle none of them, leaving a film that is profusely confusing yet completely entertaining in that strange fever dream cinematic train wreck sense. Maddening, ludicrous, and genuinely vile. The Black Cat is a fascinating experience to say the least, and one that will haunt your nightmares and question your sanity over its dumpster fire antics. The film follows a beautiful and in-demand actress named Anne, who just landed the starring role in her famous filmmaker husband's newest horror film centered around an evil witch named Lavana. With producers at the helm and filming about to begin, Anne suddenly starts having visions of the Maleficent Witch that steadily increase in intensity, forcing her to question her sanity while blurring the lines between fantasy and reality. Consumed with fear and driven to paranoia, can Anne come to terms with these growing living nightmares, or will Lavana take control and destroy everyone she holds dear? As crazy as the premise is, the characters of the piece are equally bonkers, with a slew of familiar genre faces popping up as the madness of the story spirals into outlandish obscurity. Schizophrenic, psychotic, and completely scatterbrained in consistency, the cast of The Black Cat is a ridiculously mixed bag, with the performers doing their damnedest to keep up with the ever-devolving plot, but failing to ground the film in any sense of tangible reality. The rabid weirdos and possessed maniacs of this staggeringly manic movie are Florence Guerin as Anne Ravina, the breathtaking and ultra-famous actress now plagued by a demented witch. Urbano Barberini as Mark Ravenna, a young hotshot director who's determined to transform his vision onto the silver screen. Caroline Munro as Nora, a scandalously sexy starlet who wants nothing more than to be the star of the film. Maurizio Fardo as Dan Grzynski, the writer of the picture and the man responsible for bringing Lavana to life. And finally, Brett Halsey as Leonard Levine, a ball-busting prick producer who's as serious as a heart attack. From starring roles to strange side characters, the cast does one hell of a commendable job in trying to keep up with the madness on screen, ranging from psychotic outbursts, demonic possessions, and just plain and simple oddball tomfoolery. It's honestly a spectacle to behold, and everyone pulls their weight in this frighteningly farcical oddity. The main thing that comes to mind when trying to define the tone and feel of the black cat is weird. What starts out is a pretty straightforward plot about a fictional character coming to life and haunting the actress portraying her, quickly begins to spin wildly out of control as Anne's visions begin affecting the real world and the people in her life, throwing a wrench in the simple plot and muddying it up into obscurity. Thankfully, the surreal nature of the film and the vivid imagery on display help to enhance the chaos of the picture, inviting the audience to just get lost in the madness that is this convoluted plot. The gore scenes are over the top and extremely excessive in true 80s Italian horror style, creating a cinematic experience that disgusts as much as it keeps the viewer on their toes, wondering what the hell is going to happen next. It's a strange blend of demented fairy tale and gross-out horror that often blends the real world by mentioning Dario Argento's related works like Suspiria and Inferno, while managing to craft its own third film in the series. It's literally mind-boggling and genuinely hard to peg down, but the fact of the matter is, is that it's one unforgettably weird cinematic experience. In the end, Luigi Cozy's The Black Cat is a feverishly freaky and frighteningly nonsensical monstrosity that though is completely batshit crazy and off-the-wall inept, 
still manages to maintain a weird vibe and a strange aura that entertains with wild, grotesque recklessness. And there you have it, weirdos. That is the uh, fascinatingly weird and ultimately bizarre Italian horror flick. That is the Black Cat. Just strange to say the least, and uh, I guess the behind the scenes is even weirder of this film. Uh, just a really odd production, and one that I never seen before, but was pleasantly surprised at how odd the whole thing is. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I'll see you all at the next movie review. Take care.